Welcome to IGN. We get paid to play games here. Tough job, I know. More than 30 million gamers swear by us, so we make sure to know the must-have games and gear for the holiday season. Whether you're an experienced gamer, a first-timer, or just shopping for that special someone, you've come to the right place. Plus, we're bringing you a world-exclusive cinematic trailer for Mass Effect 2, 2010's first major video game release. So give us 30 minutes, and we'll give you the world of gaming. This is Game Break, IGN's ultimate holiday video game gift guide. Now from IGN World Headquarters, here's Jessica Chobot. Okay, folks, we've got a lot to cover, from recommendations for every type of game to the best new gear. For the beginner, we'll give you everything you need to know to get started, or pick out the perfect gift for the gamers you love. The question we get the most is, which game system is right for me? The answer is, it depends. There are four main options, not including handhelds or cell phones. Here's what you need to know. Hi, I'm a PC. And I'm a Sony PS3. I'm great for all kinds of gaming. Hi, I'm an Xbox 360. I've got a boatload of games no one else has. So do I. You don't have Halo. You don't have Uncharted. What about Left 4 Dead? What about God of War? Mass Effect. Infamous. Hey, I have those games too. Most of those games. Okay, a few of those games. But I have a whole lot more too. Even games you two don't have. Hi, I'm a Wii. Uh, Can't we all just get along? Uh, I have a ton of fun, active games everyone can enjoy. Even classic Nintendo games. Oh please, you don't have nearly as many hardcore action games. Yeah, what about blasting zombies or blowing up aliens? I can shoot zombies and aliens too. But wouldn't you rather just take them bowling? Look, your games just aren't as cool. You mean like Zelda and New Super Mario Brothers? Yeah, yeah okay, that, that was, was I like yeah, those. Those were those are good. And we fit. Who really cares about exercise games? Yeah, you got a little bit of Cheeto grease there on your chin. Hey, PS3, is that money coming out of your pocket? Yeah, okay, so I'm a little expensive, but so is Xbox. Hey, you can get a cheaper version of me if you're on a budget. Do you play DVD movies? What are those? Yes, I do. How about Blu-ray? That's what I thought. What's the Blu-ray? Plus, I always come with built-in Wi-Fi and a hard drive for downloading games over the net. Yeah, well, they can buy that for me, too. And how much extra does that cost? But not everybody needs that. Can your owners play with real-life action? Hey, we're, we're working, working on it. Anyway, you get all of my stuff for just $2.99. Me, too. But I'm as low as $1.99. I'm also $1.99. And I'm already in your house. But you're the most expensive of all. Sure, but can you run Microsoft Office? What about taxes? Can you do their taxes? Okay, we get it. I think I've made my point. Plus, the better your PC, the better your gaming experience. No system is easier to play than me. Just turn me on and you're ready to go. Me too. Same here. I'm as easy as all of you. Just fire up your hard drive, key in your password, boot up your operating system, run a quick virus scan, go to the start menu, navigate to your favorite game, and away we go. Wow, I've got whiplash. Hey. My online service allows you to play with millions of others across the world. Which would be better if it had as many online players as me? Or about a bajillion times as many like me. Hey, I have a great online community as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one, we. Come on, guys. We all have great things to offer. Can't we just be friends? <sighs> All right, one last note before we blow the lid off this thing. When choosing games, you'll notice the rating system here in the corner. This tells you what type of content you can expect. Parents love them, but game players think they're lame, and yet another way the commies are taking over. The ratings are pretty simple. E is for everyone. There's nothing objectionable here. T is for teen. Time to pay attention to the fine print on these. Think PG-13. Then it's M for mature. These are the R-rated movies of the gaming universe. But concerned parents take heart. We have plenty of less graphic alternatives for all these popular mature titles. For each review, we'll show you the ratings up here, as well as the game systems available for each game down here. So gift givers, know what game console your gamer is using. All right, class is officially over. Let's look at some games. We'll get the action rolling with the best action titles. Our favorite new action title is Assassin's Creed 2. Parents, you should know that the violence in this one is very realistic. Gamers, the violence in this one is totally realistic. This game takes you back to the time of Italy's Renaissance and includes actual historical figures. It has a movie quality storyline where you solve ancient riddles to take down Templar knights, 
think the Da Vinci Code on a Roid Rage. The infamous Grand Theft Auto just got infamouser. Episodes from Liberty City is a compilation of a number of different missions and storylines, some old and some new. The new include helicopter gunfights, base jumping, blowing up crooked cops, and, of course, champagne battles. Not all of the missions are worth playing, like running a nightclub. Yeah, sounds thrilling. But the wild and over-the-top missions score serious points with us. Superheroes make some awesome movies, but as far as video games go, they kind of, what's the word, suck. Until now, Batman is in one of the best superhero movies ever with Dark Knight, and now he's in one of the best superhero video games ever with Arkham Asylum. You'll face a whole mess of supervillains from the comics. Combat is clever, and it's so good at putting you in the hero's boot, you'll be saying two words, I'm Batman. Take a deep breath, people. We're just getting started. Coming up, did you see that? Here it is again. You know what that is? That is our world exclusive look at the new trailer for next year's first big title, Mass Effect 2. You think you've already seen the game, but you haven't seen this. Yep, we've got it and you want to see it. Plus, our expanded review on Modern Warfare 2. Game Break, IGN's ultimate video game gift guide is brought to you by Activision. We're back, which is today's statement of the obvious. So you've never gamed before and you want to get started. It's your first time. Ah, well that's why I'm here. Our first recommendation is Peggle, and it might be the most addictive game we've ever played. It's bright, shiny, and perfect for all gamers of all ages and can be learned almost immediately. The goal is to drop little balls to eliminate all orange pegs on the screen, but it's so much more than that. It's like Pachinko meets Awesome. Peggle is only available for download. Next up is Sims 3, the latest installment of the wildly popular game that some hardcore gamers scoff at. But don't listen to them. It's a great game for first timers that allows you to create an entire world of characters that you can then control throughout their daily lives. But it's not as creepy as it sounds. You make sure that your sims are fed, pottied, educated, employed, socialized, and everything else necessary for a happy life. But still, not as creepy as that sounds. It's a great game you'll be playing for years to come. Punch Out! Yep, the boxing game that dates back to the arcade and original Nintendo is back. Once again, you can beat up ethnic stereotypes like wimpy Frenchmen, burly Canadian lumberjacks, and magical turban-wearing Indians. It's exclusively for the Wii, which means you can play by waving your arms around in the air, but we prefer the traditional thumbs-only method. And that just scratches the surface. For more action and game virgin picks, go to IGN.com. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 descended on consoles across the country, but first, it descended on New York, and we were there. IGN helped Activision throw a massive Modern Warfare 2 launch party right in the heart of the Big Apple. After all, what better way to kick off the fastest selling game in history than partying it up with celebrities? Master rapper Ice-T couldn't get enough of the action, and DJ Jazzy Jeff spun for the crowds. Sports stars lit up the field, and even big Tony Soprano himself, James Gandolfini, snuck in a few rounds. But at the end of the day, it wasn't the stars that made it such a special event, it was the fans. Crowds of people had an open invite to play the game before it hit stores, and trust us, playing such a big game before everyone else is an awesome feeling. Just ask these guys. From Pong to Pac-Man. The early days of gaming were filled with memorable characters, but none more popular than a short Italian with a mushroom fix. Mario is still alive and kicking and better than ever. The latest installment of the world's most prolific game character is here. And for the first time ever, four players can play on the screen at the same time. That's right, the whole family can play. There are amazing new worlds, a sweet penguin suit, lots of fun stuff to love whether you're a first timer or not. And here's the best part. If the action's too tough for the little ones, Nintendo has added an ingenious help mode that makes sure they can get past the hard parts. It's smart, it's imaginative, it's Mario. If you're not a Beatles fan already, you will be after playing Beatles Rock Band. But if you are a fan, wow. The art style is simply incredible with locations and dreamscapes that blow away any standard concert. There are only 45 songs, but those 45 songs take you through their entire career. That plus unlockable documentaries and photos makes it a love letter to Beatles fans. It's not as challenging as the other rock bands, which makes it a perfect entry point for first timers. 
But Rock Band isn't the only game in town. Guitar Hero 5 not only has more songs from tons of different bands, it has a new party play mode that makes it easy for anyone to pick up an instrument and just play. Anyone who's struggled to navigate all the options with these games will appreciate how simple they've made it. But don't worry, experts, it's still just as challenging as ever. You want more family game suggestions? We've got them piled high at IGN.com. We keep hearing that video games turn your brain into pulpy mush. Well, here's how you get the critics to zip it for good. A revolution in gaming has brought us titles that can improve mental and, yes, even physical fitness. This is the area where the Wii really excels. With the motion-sensitive controller and balance board, among other accessories, Wii has managed to put you physically into the game without all that pesky fresh air. The best new example of this is EA Sports Active, More Workouts. Wii Fit was the first exercise game, and EA Sports has kicked it up. This is real exercise, people. A full six-week program of full body conditioning with rewards along the way to keep you motivated. Wii Sports Resort turns movement into competition. This one is a major improvement over the original Wii Sports and even introduces Nintendo's new and improved Wii Motion Plus. There's everything from canoeing, ping pong and bowling, to wakeboarding, golf and even skydiving. This one is perfect for everyone in the family, from the recently potty trained all the way up to any grandparent with a good hip replacement. From the body to the brain. Our favorite new mind bender is Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. It's a point-and-touch mystery backed by movie-quality animated scenes that drive the adventure. The benefit to your brain? Tons of clever puzzles and challenges that will give your IQ a workout. I feel smarter already. For more great games like these, head back to the couch and surf on over to IGN.com. While you're on the couch, you haven't seen Mass Effect 2 until you've seen this amazing new cinematic trailer. But first, you just saw what New York thought of Modern Warfare 2, now find out what we thought. We're sort of the experts here. Our expanded review is next. The new iPhone 3GS takes the iPhone from awesome to awesomer with fast processing and memory, improved battery life, a higher resolution camera, and video recorder. You can capture, edit, and upload video directly to YouTube with a phone, man. Snapping evidence of Santa has never been easier. So playing Left 4 Dead or Call of Duty 4 isn't freaky enough, huh? Then consider the NVIDIA GeForce 3D Vision. There's no better way to step into a fully immersive third dimension. And now, more Game Break! We're back, in case you couldn't tell. We just finished watching some of the buzz created by one of the biggest games of the year. Here at IGN, we have been wearing it out, and we can't wait any longer to tell you what we think. Lock and load, here's Modern Warfare 2. First of all, it's awesome. It will really blow you away. There are three basic components to Modern Warfare 2. There's the single player story, there's the multiplayer, and then there's spec ops. The single player mode is really an interactive movie. It has this elaborate storyline. It's kind of difficult to follow, but it really doesn't matter because it's all based around great action set pieces. Packed with explosions, with little plot twists where the characters that you know or even play as might not make it through the whole story. Really, my favorite part of Modern Warfare 2 is its multiplayer component, just because there's so much to do there, and there's so much to unlock. It's set up to give you rewards for continuous play. And you're fighting alongside your friends uh, and playing online, your weapons get more powerful, your character goes up in, in ranks, you get new uh, little insignia you can wear. And as you go on, you just unlock more things that help you out, so that you actually become more powerful the more you play. To say a game is just another Call of Duty, you're giving it a huge compliment, but what it does have is it has the Spec Ops mode. The cool thing about the Spec Ops mode is that two players can play at the very same time, you know, either locally or you know, online if you have an internet connection, and one guy will go left, the other guy goes right, and you're working together really to bring down the enemy. I'm on the bottom, uh, Eric's up top in the chopper, and he's laying down covering fire for me as I try to make my way through this destroyed neighborhood. So it's a true cooperative experience. Uh, one person can't do it themselves. If, if you're really good, it doesn't matter. You have to have a good friend as well. So is there anybody coming down the street right now? I think you are cleared to move. No, wait. There's Hold a guy on. across the street, yellow house. A lot of games have 
have you fighting against enemies and there are hordes of enemies and big explosions. In modern warfare too, it's like this chaos. Like you're, you're thrust into the middle of a war and you're not sure who's friend or foe and, and you really sometimes, you have to stop and think and go like, is that guy running over there my friend or an enemy? And it really, it really highlights the realism of, of being in this world. The game is a bit controversial. There's some stuff in there that's not for the faint of heart. It's certainly not for little kids. It's a game for adults, but I would say on the whole, it's not that different from your major action Hollywood film. It's very clear as you play through that this is a fantasy scenario, even though it is set in the real world. This is the top, you know, this is the better. It's just more exciting. There's just, there's so much there, but it's a ton of fun to play. It's really cool. There you have it. For those of you who haven't already left to pick up your copy, we want you to know that Modern Warfare 2 isn't the only shooting game out there packing some major firepower. Let's look at a few more. Uncharted 2 is truly jaw-dropping. This killer sequel features some of the most cinematic gameplay to date, and actually makes you feel like you're playing an Indiana Jones movie. It's as much an adventure as it is a shooter, sending you all around the globe to exotic locations. Few games are this good. Trust us. Some will say the new Halo 3 ODST is an overpriced expansion instead of a true sequel. But the new approach does it upright as far as we're concerned. This time around you play a beefed up Marine instead of Master Chief, so you aren't as powerful, but the action is still sick. Gift givers, if you know a Halo player, you must buy this one for them. And there are so many more great shooters out there. Go to IGN.com to learn about more. You know hardcore gamers inhabit a universe of their own. This comes complete with their own set of rules, and if you want to relate, you'd be wise to learn what they are. Keep your grubby paws off my controller. Red Bull goes with fish or pork. Just because we play together online, that doesn't make me your Facebook friend. No, seriously. Keep your grubby paws off my controller. Don't judge my diet. Crunch berries or fruit. Don't punch your friend just because he beat you in Street Fighter. Unless he deserved it. Instead of buying me a cooking game, go to the kitchen and make me some tacos. When your girlfriend comes over, turn off the game. If she wants to play, marry her. Words to live by. We're coming back with our picks for the best role-playing and sports games. And then, brrr, we've been stringing you along, but it's finally time. The world premiere of the new Mass Effect 2 trailer. The Microsoft Zune series has finally hit its stride. The Zune HD has a super vibrant display and touchscreen interface. You'll get HD downloads of full movie, TV series, software, and music from a huge library through the Zune Marketplace. It even comes with an HD tuner. Now that's old school sweet. Game Break, IGN's ultimate video game gift guide is brought to you in part by LG. Life's good. Here at IGN, we know all gamers are not created equal. And to honor that, we want you to customize your very own gamer identity. We're giving away prizes, including Nintendo DSIs, and some of the best games from 09. So head on over to IGN.com slash reasons, and I'll see you there. Satis Slay is exploding with Game Break. Next on the docket are role-playing games, better known as RPGs. For you newbies out there, RPGs differ from action games in that you take on the role of a character and build their strength and skills as you progress. Long ago, games like this were called Dungeons and Dragons and they were played by kids who got stuffed into their lockers. But now, rock stars. One of our favorite new RPGs is Ion. It has some of the most beautiful graphics and landscapes we've ever seen. The overall world in Ion is a bit limited for our tastes, but this enabled developers to pimp out every other aspect of the game. The storytelling technique gives the players a lot of options, but Ion's most distinctive feature is the ability to fight while flying around on wings, an exhilarating advancement that changes everything about combat. Get ready to clear your calendar for Dragon Age Origins. You're gonna need it. It's an epic masterpiece that revolves around an army of grotesque magic users who fall into Earth to destroy everything in sight. You'll join the Resistance as one of many characters that offer a great deal of customization. This game is big, really big. The story and character development is deep and engaging, and you'll spend hundreds of hours playing without really scratching the surface of everything you can do. For more of our favorite RPGs, go to IGN.com. If you're not up to speed on the latest version of Madden or NBA Live, you're probably old enough to remember when sports were played outside with an actual ball. Seriously? They used to do that? But when you look at the places designers have taken sports games, we can't blame you for preferring the virtual variety. 
Madden NFL is a standard bearer, and this year's annual update makes some key improvements. With screaming coaches, tailgating fans, and even a weekly wrap-up show, this is the most realistic experience to date. The gameplay itself has been improved as well. Jukes, throws, and tackles have never been better, but the best addition is the online franchise mode. All scheduling, drafts, and player transactions are done on your console, PC, or even your iPhone. Run, don't walk to get the new Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10 for the Wii. Seriously. Last year's version created an unparalleled golfing experience, but this year they've somehow managed to blow that away. Tiger Woods 10 is why the Wii Motion Plus was born. It uses the new technology to produce the most immersive and realistic golf simulator money can buy. Okay, enough with the wait. You wanted it, you got it. Pay attention, because here's the first ever look at Mass Effect 2's stunning new trailer. He has no idea what he's getting into. To his credit, he's recruiting an impressive team. Assassins, scientists, biotics. He's scouring the galaxy for the best. Ilium. Purgatory. Even Sunny Tuchanka. But are they loyal? If Shepard can't gain their trust, they're all as good as dead. I can't wait! And that's it for us. We hope you have everything you need to finish your wish list for Santa. For more on everything you've seen today, we'll see you over at IGN.com.